Welcome back to another episode of Inside Access Control, sponsored by SIA. Very excited today to have Brian Krause join me. Thank you, Brian. I really appreciate you taking the time. Thanks, Lee. Great to be here. Thanks for having Absolutely. me. No problem. And I appreciate you responding to, uh, uh, I saw recently, you, you all did a, a release of your access control product. I, I, I listened to it. Uh, I thought it was a great presentation. Totally got it. You can tell that you guys have done some thinking around this and you'll get into why that is. But, um, and then really, uh, I think it, it, it showed a bit of some of the phase changes we've been talking about from the pure access control side to what you all are representing you're doing and you were nice enough to respond and, and engage. So I, I appreciate because the, the desire is to create a conversation. So thank you for doing that. Yeah, anytime. Like I said, happy to be here. No problem. So if you would, um, why don't you introduce yourself and then also talk a little bit about what your recent uh, announcement was. Sure. Yeah, thanks. So Brian Krause, I'm the Vice President of Sales for AnyVision's North American Business Unit. Um, so my is all of our sales and, and pre-sales uh, activities in the North American market. Uh, recent activity last week was the official launch of our uh, contactless access control solution where we're replacing a physical credential with a digital credential, uh, allowing customers to, to use their face or their employees' faces to gain access to facilities. Uh, it's, a, it's a technology we've been working at for a while, as, as most who know us know that we're very focused on facial and body recognition uh, analytics in general. Um, and, and this application for our technology is, is specific for access control. It's not new to us per se. Um, some of our customers have been using this functionality for quite a while, over a year. Uh, but last week's announcement sort of formalizes a new product with a, a whole new host of enhancements and, and capabilities dedicated solely for, uh, for customers that just want to use our technology for access control. Wonderful. Uh, and, and then, uh, so it works in conjunction with other access control systems, like you said, and then it has, it has or does not have the ability to work on its own. How, how, do, you, how do you bring it to market, I guess? Yeah, our, our focus is on the enterprise. Um, uh, so understanding that most enterprises have an existing access control system, a lot of the work that we've been doing in the last year, working with those first initial customers was to develop the integrations to the key systems that they were, that they were looking for. So, you know, the enterprise solutions, uh, the Honeywells, the software houses of the world, the Genetex, the Linnells, um, and, and others. Uh, I don't want to, I don't want to slight anybody by not mentioning them, but there are, there are many, uh, and we appreciate all of our partners, of course. But um, we, we are additive to the environment. So most of these customers have these systems in place, and what we've developed is a, is a solution that integrates uh, in a two-way manner to these systems so that, um, you know, a couple of key things in terms of making these systems usability come, uh, a couple of key things come to light. One is uh, we're not requiring users to re-enroll on top of the system. We share image libraries and, um, and, and user profiles with the existing system. Um, and, and we can sync two ways uh, to do that so that you can schedule those, uh, those syncs. So if you're making changes, if you're administrating your, your, your ProWatch system or your OnGuard or, or your uh, Secure system, uh, those changes will flow automatically to our system and we won't have to worry about having another system in your environment to manage. Gotcha. And then the, just to talk a little overview on the system itself, uh, I, I saw some of the key uh, functions and features, like you said, the facial authentication and then uh, the ability to, to make the, the decision to let somebody in and out. But can you talk a little about, there was like four or five uh, key sort of uh, end user benefits to, to the system. Do you want to talk a little bit about those? Sure. Yeah. So in addition to, you know, obviously being easy to use and, and plug in to your existing environment, we have some capabilities within this um, that, that end users will find specifically appealing. Uh, first and foremost is liveness verification. So as you know, you know, being from the industry and, and um, uh, many have talked about this for a long time is, is, is part of the reason why facial recognition as a credential has been held back. Uh, for mass adoption is because it's it's spoofable. Um, so I can present, you know, Lee's uh, LinkedIn photo to to a door and gain access to the facility because Lee has has rights. So what we've worked hard to do is to enhance our neural nets to be able to allow a plain IP camera, a standard I IoT sensor, to distinguish between a 2D and a 3D person. Um, we also have a, a, a dedicated endpoint for for facilities or doors that don't have a camera at the door uh, that comes in the form of a tablet. Uh, that also includes a 3D depth sensor built in. So it, it provides for an additional level, level of, of liveness, security, and verification. Um, so that's one of the things. And then we've got some, some um, other things within the system like you, um, uh, 
user rights. So for example, you can set time-based settings. So if you want to use facial recognition during business hours and require a, a card swipe, um, you know, overnight uh, for, for, for someone else or, or outside of security guards, normal hours, um, those permissions are, you can set those in, in a matter of seconds and create groups within our system to sort of overlay on top of how you're using the technology with your access, your, your, your central access control system. Gotcha. So it's a great way to, to sort of say yes to people that are looking for advanced technology to sit on top that use a higher level of assurance. I can see there's a cool factor aspect of this. So that if you're uh, from a marketing and differentiation side, like of the ability to offer this, the health side too, you don't have to touch anything. So there's a lot of, a lot of benefits that maybe traditional access control systems don't necessarily have as a feature, but you, you're, you're already there also doing other things, I'm guessing from a secu security surveillance side, correct? So you're, you're driving this too, so, okay. Um, I guess from a, from a topical standpoint, if you would, because this always comes up around facial recognition, can you give me your, uh, your couple uh, of minutes uh, thoughts on you know, privacy and the rest and how you all handle it? Because I think it's important always when we have this type of conversation. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, on the topic of privacy, um, it's largely really a, a, a lack of education or a miseducation that is, um, that is sort of permeating the market. So, you know, our system and our technology doesn't even require biometric information of an individual to function. Um, so if, if you don't want to store images or, or use images of a person or an employee or a visitor, um, you don't have to. Uh, we, can, we can run completely based on mathematics. So um, uh, when we detect a face in the scene, uh, the process that is performed in the background is for that face to be extracted into a math, what we call a mathematical vector. Um, the vector is actually what is compared to what's in the database, uh, which is a, another mathematical vector. Um, system is all based on thresholding and, and, and very customizable confidence intervals. So if you tell the software that this mathematical vector needs to be within this range of this other one, and it, and it reaches that threshold, it will consider that a match. All of that is customizable. Um, and again, the system can work on, on just numbers, doesn't even need faces. And it lends itself to how we've architected it to be fast, um, you know, throughput and, and really when I say end user experience, I mean the actual employee going through the gate, not necessarily the, the enterprise purchasing person, but, um, or the security people, but the people going through the gate gain from that too, because we're able to strip out a lot of the workload that goes to transporting images over the wire and slowing the process down. So by asking the computer to simply be a calculator, uh, which, is, which is what it does best, it can work very, very quickly and provide a, a, a really fast experience uh, to eliminate queuing, um, and, and increased throughput at, at, at entry points, which again, as you mentioned, is a, is a focus for, for folks to not have people touch things, not stand near each other, not bottleneck crowds. Um, so throughput is, a, is another key consideration of ours. So when it comes to privacy, um, you know, I, I tell folks that um, our systems are all developed in compliance with, uh, with major standards around um, biometric information and biometric uh, protection. And you can customize and run our solutions to whatever level of, of uh, compliance you want, wide open or fully scaled back and only numbers going back and forth. No, I appreciate that. And, and thank you for addressing it because it is a conversation whenever, you know, internally in the organization or externally uh, uh, of, the, of the industry talking to people, um, it always comes up. So I appreciate the, your method and the approach that you all take it. And also the fact that you all have been doing it for, for quite a while as well. So it's, it's a, uh, this isn't, you know, something that you just stumbled upon and now you guys are bringing to market, you've been doing this. So um, I, I appreciate that. Um, if people want to find out more information about your system, the new releases that you've done, where's the best place to do that? Uh, website is anyvision.co. Uh, you can email info at anyvision.co. Uh, you can reach myself or any of our team members in, in North America or globally on places like LinkedIn and social networks and um, or, wherever is best for you to uh, get your information. Well, I appreciate you do, taking the time to do this. Uh, it, it, and thank you again for the engagement side from uh, on LinkedIn and the rest. And I would encourage people to do so because you are there and your team does put up good information. And I, and I appreciate, the, appreciate the storytelling that you all do. So thank you, Brian. Thanks for taking the time. Ah, you're very welcome. Thanks again for having me. Talk to you soon. Thank you. Thank you.